What's going on guys? Kenny from 619 Guitars and Gear here and welcome to part two of the Ert Headless Guitar Mod Project. In this video I'm basically just going to make and construct my clamp and press system that I came up with to press the veneer onto the body. Uh, you're technically supposed to use a vacuum bag um, but for the machine and the bag itself it's a pretty good amount of money even though that's the right way to do it. Um, I've seen it done a few different ways. I mean, I've seen people just take a board and sit on it for a few hours and it works. So, uh, I'm fairly confident in this design. Uh, I'm sure there's other ones like it. Uh, this one, I kind of just came up and built as I went and, uh, did a bunch of test fitting and I think it came out fairly well. I'm pretty happy with it. I talked to a few different luthiers and they think I'm on the right path. Uh, they have a few concerns, um, which, I can definitely see where they're coming from, but you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I think uh, worse comes to worse. If it fails, we uh, regroup, uh, redesign some stuff, and then try again. I mean, I think I spent $40 on the veneer, and I have another piece. And then all together at Home Depot, I think I spent around 40 bucks. So I bought six big bolts and six wing nuts and a bag of washers and then one two by four. Uh, some of the other wood I had laying around at home, so that didn't really cost me anything. And uh, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this design. I think I'm on the right path. I basically am going to just use that piece of plywood on the bottom as a table. I'm going to put three two by fours underneath as uh, beams to keep it sturdy, and um, basically put the bolts up through it, and then clamp three more two by fours down onto the body. Uh, I'm gonna put another piece of flat plywood on the back of the body. And then I bought a piece of the pink insulation foam. And my theory is that if I put that foam on that piece of plywood, I'm gonna put the body face down with the veneer on the, the foam and it should push the body down into the foam, thus keeping the veneer nice and flat with perfect even pressure throughout the whole thing um just a theory uh whether it will work or not i'm not 100 percent sure but you know what? I'm, I'm pretty confident and uh like i said if it doesn't work we'll we'll fix the flaws and uh, we'll regroup and try again uh sometimes when you build stuff you you got to try it to see if it's going to work and uh don't give up the first time you know see what happened, see what went wrong, and uh, maybe take a break and, and rethink your process and go back and try again, because I guarantee you, you'll be successful eventually. Basically, just test fitting a bunch of stuff. Um, like I said, there's the board that's going to go on the back of the body and push the body down into the pink foam. I'm going to put a piece of wax paper between the veneer and the foam just so there's no sticking or anything. Uh, that was suggested by a luthier. And like I said, you're supposed to use a vacuum bag, but the, it's just so expensive. And I could see if maybe I was getting into doing this in the future like a bunch of times, but I am really don't plan on it, even though I might do it uh, on some of my own guitars again, which I probably will just because it's a fun process and I definitely do enjoy doing guitar projects for sure. I don't see myself going out and buying the vacuum bag. I just don't think it's worth it for what I'm doing. Basically just going back and forth, testing everything. I actually had to run out to Home Depot during doing all this to uh, get another 2x4. So that was fun. It's always fun being in, in a good groove and being in the middle of a project. And then you have to run to the store and then you kind of come back and you're all frazzled and... Uh, but we got over it. As you can see, I'm kind of just testing and test fitting everything. I put a piece of cardboard on the back of the body just so it's not that wood uh, right up against it. It's kind of a nice uh, soft barrier in between. And uh, yeah, I mean, they had a little bit of concern about some center pressure. I might come up with something to put a little bit of extra pressure in the center uh, beam, but... Honestly, I think we'll, we're on the right path and it, it really should work. There's really no reason why. I mean, I shouldn't have decent results considering I've seen people use like books and a piece of wood and it came out really good actually. So 
we'll see. I mean, I think as long as I have nice, even pressure, we'll be fine. Um, there's a bevel on the corner of the guitar where your arm goes, which I'm a little concerned about, but I took some foam and, uh, I think we can smush it down into it and it should keep the veneer up against the body. So, uh, there's kind of the final product It just how everything's going to go together. You can see the body in there and, uh, it looks good. I'm excited. I can't wait to try it. Basically, the poplar burl just had a bunch of holes in it, so I wanted to take some CA glue and fill in the holes just so there's no problems with the veneer sinking into anything, which I didn't think it would, but uh, that's basically what I did today, and uh, that was part two, guys, so stay tuned for part three. That's going to be actually applying the veneer, and I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share if it suits you. Thank you, guys.